Hello Anomalies, today we'll be trying to make a sequel to one of the greatest games of all time. So, how do we do it? Well first, we should give it a name. Minecraft Beyond the Void. I know, edgy name right? This game takes place after Minecraft. And what does that mean? Well, several things have changed, including villages. Villages will be larger, more advanced, giant golems will be rarer, and you will not be able to use emeralds anymore to trade. You'll be able to use other items and gold. In the center of every village, there's a gold block that if you destroy it, they'll kind of hate you forever. So don't do that. More extreme weather, larger ice biomes, burning deserts, giant ravines down to bedrock level, volcanic mountains and giant forests will be existent in this sequel. Lost Homes Steve and Alex, who canonically existed before you, have built quite a bit, so there'll be 20 to 30 different types of homes that have some basic resources like beef, stone, iron, furnaces, etc. that can be found randomly scattered around the map. Now, the main difference between Minecraft and Minecraft Beyond the Void is that it has a story, but before you freak out, don't worry. Minecraft Beyond the Void will still maintain the same feeling as Minecraft. You don't have to do the story. In fact, you're not even introduced to the story at all. Just like how Minecraft shows you things and you have to make up the pieces. It won't tell you, speak to this guy or go to this one, because that's not very fun, is it? Basically, Minecraft will be just as open world, and if not harder to actually learn, and it'll be a little bit more difficult as I'm going to be getting rid of the recipe book. And if you actually want to get a recipe book, you have to put the item and you have to put the recipe with a piece of paper and there's maybe a new block for it. I don't know, the recipe bookmaker. So you can remember all these recipes or you can buy recipes from villagers. That could be cool. Basically, I just want you to know that this is just a completely, it's just basically a better Minecraft in my opinion. But what about this story? If you do want to play it, well, Basically, it goes that Steve and Alex killed the Ender Dragon. They took the Ender Dragon's egg, and one day, they allowed it to hatch. At first, the dragon was nice, but as it grew up, it became angry and attacked the world, destroying a lot of it. Steve and Alex fought it, but it was young, it was strong, and they didn't make it. But you, as their descendant, must now destroy this new dragon, which is torn apart the dimensions of the world. Now, how do we get to this big epic climax? How do we get to the killers of Steve and Alex? Well, we have to do some fetch quests. No, not really. But there'll be these things called quest givers. There'll be types of villagers that you can find in villages, and they will give you randomized quests that are procedurally generated, and yeah. Each quest has a different difficulty level, but they each have different base types. We have fetch quests, Quests which require you to hunt a specific item. Hunter quests, which you must gather a certain amount of materials like gunpowder, heads, bones, etc. Adventure quests, which are longer, spanning across multiple towns and villages. Defense quests, which you defend a village from pillagers. Speaking of pillagers, there are new pillagers. We have soldiers, pillagers with swords and axes. Scouts, pillagers with horses that will scout ahead. Archers, pillagers that can shoot different things from their bow from their bows and crossbows, including arrows, poison bottles, fireworks, etc. Magicians, pillagers mixed with witches that can heal their soldiers, razors, pillagers that spawn and bring forth a wave of mobs like husks, creepers, etc. Demolition, pillagers that places TNT and blows it up. Kidnappers, pillagers that take a child villagers and take them back to the outpost, and then you have to go save them and blah 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 blah. Now, I was the thing about dungeons in Minecraft now is that they suck. They suck dick. So what I wanted to change was everything about them, in every way. And how are we going to do that? By doing something they should have done in the first place. <laughs> Each biome has a different type of cave. Like in snow biomes, there are ice caves that have, that have large vertical area, meaning slippery surfaces are dangerous and will cause you to fall off to your death. Desert biomes have two different types of caves. Delicate caves where the sand is above you, and any, t and if you move too much, the sand might fall on your head and suffocate you. Or lava-filled caves which bubble at the sea foam and oh, so, so epic. Each type of cave gives different loot, so you can choose what kind of loot you would like. Desert caves could give you more golden apples, 
and gold. Ice caves could give you a fortune book to get the ice. Lava caves could give you enchants like Lava Walker. Jungle caves could give you new axe enchants like chopping. Now, all this sounds like too much for Mojang, but I'm not even done. Listen, if Mojang ever makes a sequel to Minecraft, it will have to make massive changes to even, you know, to just not be an update. So yeah, I'm not quite done with this sequel idea. I've got about two more parts in me. I think I'm going to be dedicating a video specifically to dimensions, the storyline, new biomes, and new mobs, and the other half will be how the story acts out and what you can do after the game, and how I will fix balancing with new materials so I don't have stronger things than diamond, but I also have new materials to keep people invested. If you would like to see those two longer parts that will be more in depth, this is just kind of a preview slash overview of my basic thoughts of a Minecraft sequel. It's only six minutes, so hopefully you didn't click off too early. I have spent a lot of effort on this video, so if you could please leave a like, subscribe to become an anomaly, and then scientists can try and experiment on you, because you're an anomaly. Anyway, see you in the next life. Have a great day. Bye bye.